happy people I'm back with another video and today I have a quick BT art box haul for you guys I want to introduce some new items that they just got out on the market which is super exciting because you guys know I am obsessed with BT art box products so this here is a little box of goodies that they sent me I do want to give a special shout out to BT art box I just want to say thank you so much for these goodies I'm really excited to to see what I got so um yeah let's let's just hop on into it so this here is their little card and um it talks about their BT art box x coat tips some of that is what's included in this box this here gives you the instructions of how to apply it um so you guys can just screenshot it really quick if you are wanting it but it's really easy application um so that came it came with a BT art box nail file it's 100 180 grit they included some um, some putty, which is pink, which is cute, and that's to go along with these really cool nail stands. These are perfect. You guys know I make press-on nails, and so you can never have too many nail stands for that, so it's nice to have this along with the putty for it. Um, they sent over me some nail glue. Now, I'm not going to lie, you guys. That BT Art Box nail glue is really good. I've done a dedicated video where I put this nail glue to the test, and it lasted well over a week. Um, and I went swimming with the nails and everything. I'll leave um, a couple pictures of the set um, here in the video. But, um, but yeah, this nail glue is really good. I would highly recommend it. Um, I think you can get up to two weeks wear out of it. I took it off after a week. I think it could last up to two. Okay, I am with... This is the X Coat French Tips Protecting um, Kit, and this stuff is really good too. This is to reinforce the um, press on nails. So this comes with, let's see, it comes with the gel glue, which is what you use to apply the nails, and then it comes with the X Coat Tips Top Coat and Builder Gel. So after you apply the nails with the glue, you go on top of it, put the Builder Gel to give it extra strength, Top Coat to seal everything in. So that's always nice to have. We got these. Okay. What is this? Okay. It looks like a fan, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. What? Oh my god. How cute is this, y'all? It's a whole fan. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh, that's cute. I'm going to be keeping this in my purse, okay? So it's a Xcoat Tips Viral Nails BT Art Box Nails. I love this. And it's of good quality, too, y'all. This is a nice, sturdy fan, okay? Just fan yourself out when you're out and about. Oh, these are nice. This is really nice. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I like this. So I'm definitely going to be putting this to use. That is so cool. I like that they they coming out with, like, little, I guess it's considered a swag. That is really nice. This is going in my purse right after this video, okay? Then we got here some PCR Pro Nail Tools. Let's see what this is. I didn't even know they offered some of these things. I didn't know they offered a nail tool kit. So this is pretty cool. Let's see. Oh, nice. Okay, so it comes with a cuticle pusher, which is really nice. You can never have too many of these. This seems like a nice, high quality one. Very nice, okay. And then it comes with cuticle nippers. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was definitely in the market for some real good nippers. The only nippers I have, you guys, are the ones that I got from Dollar Tree. And they are not great at all. Like, yeah, these things cut you up real bad. But I still keep them around just to try to use them. But these right here look like they are of great quality. They look like they can get right in to that hangnail and get it right on out. So, that is perfect. Wow. That's, that's very quite nice. Quite nice. Okay, so I'll put that back. As y'all can see, BT Art Box has a wide selection of items that you can get from now. That's really cool. I didn't know they had this. So we got this. And then the stars of the show, obviously. So I'll go ahead and take these out the box here. These two items are the stars of the show. So this is their X Coat Tips. Um, soft gel system um, press on nails you guys been around on my channel for a while you all know that i am obsessed with the bt art box press on nails they are amazing i've done tons and tons of reviews on their products on their press on nails on these xco tips and this stuff lasts the system is true it does last on here where it says that 30 days lasting it does last up to a month i have done war tests for up to a month um but 
let's take a look and see what these nails look like. These here are their new um, X coat tips. Uh, these are the new French tips that they came out with, and these are the extra extra long ones. Um, I think so far I've only done the long. I've done medium and I've done long, but I've not done extra extra long. So these are their extra extra long ones. How cute are these though? Oh my gosh! When I say I'm obsessed with the fit of it though. Like these nails actually fit sidewall to sidewall for me. Really nice flush to the cuticle. Beautiful apex. These things feel like acrylic nails. Like really, really beautiful. So yeah, these are cute, y'all. Oh. So yeah, I think I'll probably do like a quick demo, show you guys how to apply these. Um here towards the end of the video. And then the newest item that they came out with, which I thought was so cool, are these here. And these here are the um, these here are the X coat tips press on toenails, you guys. What? That is so cool. So it says patent B B T M M A 60 seconds quick drying, more natural, healthier. And it is I love this packaging. How cute is this? It's so cool and sleek, modern. Got the cute little foot right here. You see the foot the foot imprint. I love this. this. This looks very luxe, if you ask me. Yep, it says wear X coat tips with gel glue, then apply builder gel and top coat, seal them in. Um, easily get a salon manicure done in 30 minutes. Yep, that's about right. That's about how long it takes me. Feel the X coat tips. This is so cool. So, yeah, this is how they are looking. These are so adorable. Oh my gosh, I can't. So, I'm gonna pull these out. You guys. Do y'all see how cute these little toenails are? Oh my gosh. And I love the fact that they um, have the nail bed color that kind of matches the um, the French the French tips here. Like how cute is that? Oh my goodness. I am in love with these. How adorable. Wow. Yeah, these are really cute. I'm actually, so I just took off my last Manny. I mean, let's see. So I actually just took off my last pedicure and I am in deep need of doing my toenails. Oh, this is cool. Even on this little tab here, it has like little hearts for the smaller nails. And that's to be able to help you guys put it on, like to have something to hold on to when you're getting ready to put it on. That's nice. And it has the numbers right here. That was very creative, BT Art Box. Yeah, that was very, very creative. I like that. That's a cool way to be able to give assistance with putting your nails on. Um, and let's see, it comes with, these actually come with 16 different types. This comes with 16 different shapes of uh, toenails, which is quite a lot. And I'll be honest with you guys, I've never actually used press on toenails. I am in deep need of a pedicure. I've, well, hmm, I've shown my toes here once on my channel. And uh, I will say, I uh, got some creepers come out with my toe videos. And so I don't know if you guys are interested and want to see me do some press on toenails. Let me know and I can make that happen. But otherwise, if y'all cool on just, you know, knowing that they have this product available and you can get it and you see me do my hands, I'm okay with that too. But yeah, let me know if you guys want to see me do a pedicure on the channel. I've not done one uh, before. I'm not sure how I feel about it because it might bring out um, a different crowd of folks. Let me just say that. Who are infatuated with things other than the nails, okay? <laughs> But yeah, anywho, um, yeah, these are super cute and I absolutely love them. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you, BT Art Box for sending these products over to, for review. But yeah, y'all, let's hop into doing a quick set with the um, with these extra extra long tips. Okay, oh, I just love this packaging. How cute! Yeah, I just love this packaging. How cute is this? Super cute. Anyhow, so when you're doing these nails, one of the first thing you want to do is uh, size out your nails. So what I love about it coming on the strip is that it makes it really easy to just find what size works best for you, right? Um, so I know with their Exco tips that the size zero is my thumbnail. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off really quick. And just to give you guys a better idea of the strength of these nails, these things are super strong and super sturdy. Like if you press them here at the tip, you'll see it takes a lot to even bend it here at the cuticle. It's nice and flexible, which allows it to be nice and flush to the nail bed. I absolutely love these. These are my all-time favorite press-on nails. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these sized out and then we'll hop into doing a quick set.
This is what the nails are looking like all sized out and ready to go. I'm gonna show you guys how quick and easy this application is, okay? So I do plan to pop these off. It is the weekend and y'all know I can't wear my extra, extra long nails to work, but I do wanna film a couple videos for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in and do some really, really light prep to my nails. So first I'm gonna go in and push back the cuticles really quick. And when I do my um, press on nails for pop off, I do really, really light uh, prep work. So I'm just gonna go in and push back all my cuticles really quick. And then after I get all the cuticles pushed back, all I do is I go and I do really, really light prep and just get off whatever dead skin I can off of the nail. Just all with this cuticle stick, whatever I can't get off with the cuticle stick, I don't worry about because again, I do want these nails to pop off fairly easily. Um, if you all want longevity to your nails, you'll definitely want to go in and buff the surface of your natural nail and uh, go in with a dehydrator and primer. Again, I actually have dedicated videos where I'll show you guys in detail how to get these nails to last for up to a month, up to 30 plus days, um, to get these nails to last for over a month. But for now, I just want to show you all these for demo purposes. So after you do that, you'll just go in and wipe off the nail with some alcohol. Um, so I'm gonna do that really quick. Okay. Next, I'm gonna go in with some peel-off base coat. This is the peel-off base coat I like to use when I'm filming for the weekend. So this is the Gayoi peel-off base coat, seven bucks. I'll leave a link down in the description box below for you guys. But I'll go in with a thin layer of that and then cure for 60 seconds. And a little of this stuff goes a long way, okay? I found that with one swipe out of the bottle, I can actually get all of my nails coated with this and you just need a nice thin layer of it all right perfect so i'll go ahead and cure for 60 seconds this is what the nails look like after the peel off base coat has been cured Next, I'm going to go in. So I'm going to be using my um, hands-free gooseneck lamp. This is something that I got recently from Timu, and I also saw it available on Amazon. But it's a gooseneck lamp where it's motion censored, and I just think this is just so helpful and handy when doing gel -X nails like this. Um, so I'm going to put this off to the side for now. The BT Art Box Glue Gel. This is actually my first time using the glue gel out of the bottle, but I have used their solid nail glue to do multiple nail sets. So... Let's go ahead and give her a go. This is what the consistency of this looks like. It's really nice and thick. I want to try a different application method with these to see if I can get it to not have any spillage, okay? Um, now, a lot of times you'll want to, now typically you'll want to go in and etch the inside of your press on nail. I'm going to skip that step because I do plan on popping these off fairly soon, but um, if you want them to last even longer, you can go ahead and etch the inside. Because it's matte, you're technically, you technically don't need to do that step, but I like to do it still anyway, just to ensure longevity if that's what I'm going for. But in today's look, I'm not. I just want to pop these on and pop them off. But let's go in with some of this glue gel. So I want to try something a little different. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with one strip of that glue gel right down the center of my natural nail. And then over here, I'm just going to do two swipes in the middle of the press-on nail. And my goal with this is to not have any spillage on my sidewalls and at my cuticle. I don't know if this is going to be enough or not, but um, two swipes down the middle and then just a little bit there at the cuticle area, okay? And so I'm going to go ahead and bring this in frame so that we can uh, have an easy cure process here what you'll do is you'll take the nail and you want to apply it to your natural nail right at the cuticle area not touching the cuticle but right at the cuticle let the product flow its way down and then cure i did get a little bit of seepage on my sidewalls but that's okay and i absolutely love this lamp because it just makes life 10 times easier i'm going to see here if it's possible to still clean that up and it does not <laughs> It already cured, that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure that on in place like so. And that one is done. As you all can see, this is what it looks like after it's been applied, okay? Move on to the next nail here. So for this nail, I'm gonna skip the strip down the middle of the natural nail and just do two on the inside of this. And again, I'm really trying to see if I can get a method where I have no spillage on my sidewall. So I'll do one strip 
down the center of this nail and maybe I'll just do the excess like that let's see what that does for the for applying it because I really want to see if I can master a different technique here okay so again you will start at the cuticle area not touching the cuticle but right up to it let the product flow its way down and then cure I think that might have worked okay and again I'm just flash curing for about 10-15 seconds that's what that looks like that's less spillage okay so let's try it one more time here and I'm gonna do I think I just want to do I just want to coat it I guess coat the whole inside I'm just trying some different methods here you guys I want to see if I can get it to where I'm not um, getting any spillage at all without cleanup so now I'm gonna go in at that cuticle area and just press down okay that one worked better go ahead and cure yeah, okay, so I think coating just the inside of the nail probably worked the best, which is kind of what I had already been doing. So I guess the moral of the story is if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? <laughs> oh, because that was perfect application. Look at that. See, look, that was perfect application. No spillage at all. So yeah, I guess I'll just stick to what I've been doing. I guess it's been working pretty well, huh? Yep, that was just enough nail glue too. So, okay, that works. So just do a thin coat on the inside of the nail. I don't even think you need to do anything extra. I think that's maybe what I was doing wrong, doing that little extra dollop at the end. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just coat the inside of it and let that be that. So go in at the cuticle again, like so. Press down till it gets the end and then cure. And I hopefully I'm keeping all this in in real time. You guys see how quick and easy this is to do. That one had a little bit of extra spillage. All right, perfect. So once all of these nails are applied, you just go ahead and do a full 60 second cure in your nail lamp. Alrighty, so overall the application of these were really good. Next, what you want to do really quick is just crisping up that that tip. All of the press on nails typically come with a little tab there, so you just want to file that little tab off. To give it a nice natural look okay like so beautiful and then from there um, any of the little bit of spillage that you may have gotten you'll just go in and clean that up really quick with a nail drill This is what all the nails are looking like after they have been filed. Next, I'm just going to go in with some more alcohol and just go ahead and clean the surface of the nails just to make sure when you apply that builder gel and the um, top coat that it doesn't peel off. Now, I will say I have had the issue in the past where I experienced a little bit of peeling using this builder gel and top coat. And one thing I think might combat that is using some um, primer on top of it. So I'm just going to go in with some primer here and apply that to all the nails. Next I'm going to go in with the Exco Tips Builder Gel and again this is going to add extra strength to the nails. So you'll go ahead and cure. This is what the nails look like with one layer of that builder gel. Now I'm gonna go in with the X Coat Tips top coat. And when you're doing this, you want to make sure you remember to cap the free edge of the nails. 
to seal it in. Flip for 10 seconds and then cure for 60. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I am loving how my nails turn out. These extra, extra long nails right now are giving me life, okay? These nails are giving me life. I love it, love it, love it. So again, these were the extra, extra long uh, French tip nails. And then they came out recently with these x coat Tips toenails. Let me know, you guys, if you want to see me do a video with these toenails. Um, another special thanks to BT Art Box for sending these products over for review. I absolutely love them. You guys are my tried and true. And I do have a discount code with BT Art Box. I am going to leave that discount code here on the screen as well as in the description box below. But if you all have not tried these nails, you're missing out. These feel like, I'm going to show you guys, these feel like, you hear that noise? These feels like acrylic nails. They're nice, they're strong, they're sturdy, and they are super cute, okay? The lovely thing about these nails is you can go in and do any type of designs and decor or whatnot on top of this uh, French tip. I just love that the fact that they made these nails just super easy to use and super affordable to do. This definitely saves you way more money than it would cost to go to the salon and get these uh, and get these done. Like imagine going to the salon and getting these done as acrylics. It would cost way more than what it would cost to just buy this kit and be able to do it anytime you want. So yeah, y'all, I love these products and would highly, highly, highly recommend them. These are my tried and true booze. And I love that they're coming out with the extra, extra long. I love that they're coming out with the different lengths and designs. As you all saw in my last video, they came out with pre design French tip nails and now these are the extra extra long are they going for triple x next I'm excited to see okay happy people I am back with a 10 hour update and I'm starting to get some loose nails here um overall most of the nails are still holding on pretty good um there's no lifting here no lifting here severe lifting here oops that pretty much didn't popped off okay <laughs> Um, slight lifting here, which I think that's going to pop off soon as well. Um, minor lifting here, no lifting here, slight, no, oh, no lifting on this one either. No lifting here, no lifting here and up oh, this one just popped off. Okay. So, um, again, I really do like this pull off base coat because it really does just give me essentially just a day's wear. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these nails off because I've already lost one and I do have to go to work tomorrow and I won't be able to function with these long nails. So I'm just going to find a spot where I can just kind of get underneath where that peel off base coat is. So I'm just going to get slightly underneath it and then break the seal and then it pops right on off, okay? I'm gonna do that on this nail as well. Just gonna find just a smidge of lifting here. Get at that cuticle. And if I feel like it's still on pretty good, then I'll go in with my nail debinder and just put a little bit on there just to kind of help move it along. So I think I'm gonna do that on this nail right here. And I was actually told that I should probably try to get this into a dropper because it'll be easier to remove my nails. And I think it will be too, but I have to figure out a dropper to put it in. I need to find a container. Um, over here, I know there's slight lifting over here. Let's see. Yep, right there, like so. So you just kind of get under the nail and wiggle it up, like so. And underneath here, I'm just, whoops, underneath here, I'm just going to, again, just get some debonder in here. I don't think that the, the debonder is necessary. But I also don't want to damage my natural nails, so I'm just going to do this as a precaution, just to be on the safe side. You can also just kind of soak it off with hot water like I did in my last video. Um, this one's pretty loose too, so I'm going to go ahead and just put some debonder underneath here. Go ahead and just pop these nails right on off. I think what makes it harder for them to pop off is if some of the nail glue actually got on my natural nail um like on the sidewalls and cuticle um i think that's what could make it adhere and not pop off so easily but as you all can see just put on a little bit of that the binder um helps that right along so yeah 
same over here just with a little bit of that debonder and it pops right on off yes y'all love it love it love it so most of this hand is already off and i am going to reuse these nails you guys these things are in perfect condition um i literally wore them for 10 hours and popped them off so the next time i have like a quick event or something to go to then i will just pop these right back on i'll use the same application method um, they already have their base and top coat on it, so they're already ready to go. Um, let's see what I can get going over here. Go ahead and pop these off really quick. Um, that's not ready to come off just yet. I don't see any lifting over here, no lifting over here. I think I can get underneath over here. There we go. Um, so yeah, one of the things I like about uh, this Gaioi, <clears throat> this Gaioi peel-off base coat is the fact that um honestly i could still wear my long nails on the weekends you guys um that kind of makes me a little happy because i'm not gonna lie i was kind of missing my long nails there kind of miss being able to do all the fun crazy designs i used to do on my channel um if you guys haven't seen some of my old nail tutorials you should go check them out i've done some pretty cool intricate designs i mean i've even done hand painting on nails like I drew the Cheshire cat the Cheshire cat um, from Alice in Wonderland so I've done some pretty cool things with my nail art hoping I can get back into it once my schedule allows um, but yeah y'all I'm just gonna go ahead and finish popping these off real quick I really do like this nail debonder I bought it on a whim not even knowing what to really expect from it and I tell you, I've been using it a lot lately when it comes to popping off my nail sets and really just trying to preserve the health of my nails. Um, don't know that it's necessary to use, but I like using it because it, I think it kind of helps things along. Look at that. just popped right on off, didn't it? <laughs> I mean, the stuff is just good. You know what I mean? Boop. Pop that right on off. Yeah, I mean, it's just really good to bonder. Like, I didn't even know such a thing existed and was so good and all you got to do is get just a little bit underneath that nail and it kind of does the rest I don't know what's in this stuff because it's not like really drying either so it's not like it's like acetone eating away at stuff it's it's kind of hydrating as well but it works really good um, so you just kind of wedge it on up underneath here like that I'm gonna put a little bit more debonder on here you already see it's making its way up Oop, there it is popped off like so and then we have this last one here this one isn't lifting at all y'all let's see if I can get this one off there we go see a little lifting right there yep just like that I really love this peel off base coat because like I said man on the weekends I can get my bed and bougie on <laughs> and it just popped off just like that look at that y'all so less than five minutes or right around five minutes to pop the nails off not mad at it I'm sure if I had to soak it in hot water um, it would have popped off even sooner I am going to reuse these again at a later date if you want to reuse them you just go inside etch the inside of the nail tip and re-adhere it so love 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 this okay um so yeah i like i said i'm a, I'm a really big fan of these bt art box press on nails they are my tried and true they last i've done one month wear test i've done the one week wear test i've done two week wear test i've worn these various lengths of times even the bt art box nail glue is good the bt art box adhesive tabs are really good i've gotten up to two weeks to wear with that too um so yeah this is a really trusted brand for me and I just absolutely love their products and um, yeah y'all like I said I am going to be reusing these bad boys because they are in perfect shape okay and whenever you take your nails off like this you'll want to just go in with a little bit of cuticle oil just to rehydrate your cuticles like so your nail and cuticle I just put it right there on the nail bed okay just to give it a little bit of strength and a little TLC because it just went through some things
But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts. Have you guys tried BT Art Box and what and what do you think of them? I absolutely love them. Um, again, I do have a discount code. I'm going to leave that here on the screen as well as in the description box below. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around. Join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, and spectacular day. Bye!